What's up indeed? We're here to see something new, something different, maybe something you knew about, maybe something you wasn't even on your radar. But we're going to take a look at this. Now, uh, before we march into town proclaiming how great and awesome everything is, uh, we're going to get down to the table, you and me. We're going to do this together. I want you to be a part of this, all right? So come on, down the table, you and me, we're going to find out what's in the Pixies box. Awesome. Come on, I'll see you down there. Battle Systems, Tabletop Games and Terrain presents Town House. <laughs> nice two story. Right? And, and different size. The first floor is a little bit smaller than the bigger top floor that's sitting on it. And I'm very excited because I have been enjoying the Battle Systems cardboard uh, paper building terrains. I'm enjoying these very much. And I believe Fu has put to the, the torch many of villages that look like this over the years, hasn't he? Yeah, you feel good about yourself, uh, that big guy? Innocent people being burned? All in the name of Fu Manchu. You really don't care, do you? <laughs> no wonder you are too evil for some. <sighs> I know, I know. All right, well, let's get in here and see what there is for you to uh, burn if you so desire. Actually, I'm not going to let you burn a damn thing. Oh, now you're not going to let me get the blade because I'm not going to let you torch anything? Stop playing with knives, Fu, and don't play with fire. Just give me the blade. You play with too many dangerous things, foo. Uh, all right, all right. Let's get you off to a safe location. The incomparable Fu Manchu, everyone. <laughs> all right, yeah, this has been a really great system. I'm very happy that, um, you know, this company is around and making this stuff. Because I've been looking for really good uh, cardboard paper terrain for a while. And, uh, and this is, this is it. And I forgot to give the warning, didn't I? I'm so excited. Look at that. I forgot to give the warning. So please, my friends, always cut away from yourself. And here we are! Yes! Looks a lot better without that glare, doesn't it? And look at that! There's a little bed! Oh, isn't that just a dorkable? Got some bookshelves or whatever kind of shelving unit you need, I guess. Okay. And that's, uh. Okay, let's see. Ready? <laughs> and. Aha! Uh -huh. So when you uh, open these up, and I found this out the last one I had to do, I'm not sure how it all edited out to what's in what order, but this is really important because this is going to have the connectors in it for you. And as you can imagine, uh, being able to connect pieces together is going to be very important to making sure things don't fall apart. And there we go. Kind of a big bag for... For this, a bit of a waste, but they're very important. And uh, then, this is this, two, it looks like three. Looks like three. We don't even need 
who's blade for this. And here we go. Just uh, the, the card stock, as you'll see, is, is, is good. It's a strong quality, which is one of the reasons why I like this system so much. But at the same time, same time, everything <laughs> pops out really easily with hardly a touch. Just got to be a little bit careful, right? Where you got some of the nubs and the nub holes. But otherwise, everything comes out, like I said, fairly easy. And you can see here, it's it's not thin. You can hear that it's not thin. These are uh, really well made. Little doorways come off and open up. Look at that. Oh, matchway. So cool. Ah, interesting. Magic. The arcane. So there are uh, three sheets, some walls, roofs, sides of the roof. Oh, I love these too, the, the scatter pieces. I like all those scatters they have, especially these uh, right here. Because <laughs> they're like, what is that? Why are you so excited about that, John? Because this is a walkway stone. This is like a path stone, right? You don't hardly ever see anything like that in in D, D pathfinder rpg style uh gaming stuff and uh that's just i think it's just so fun that they include even such tiny things like this but now let's see about uh getting this together all right let's and see what this looks like hold on you can always tell when there's been a cardboard build because there's tons of little bits of <laughs> cardboard on the table so here we go the townhouse looks pretty good barrels and the scatter i like the uh the bin storage bin connected to the side of the house and uh if you come up over here and i move my finger this time we can take off the top and get a gander onto the inside see the bookshelf with the books the psionicist standing there Needing something to do with his time. Got some chairs. Uh, you got the bed over here. And uh, you, got the, you got the hatch to get downstairs. And uh, when you go downstairs, you find the first floor living quarters. You got the ladder upstairs. You got a table. The book on it. The uh, windows open up. I mean, I have to loosen them a little bit more, but they do open up, and uh, you get the little uh, flagstones walking up to the house. I love that. I love the flagstones part of it. It's something you, you don't really see a lot in D&D &D, uh, miniature setups. So, there you go. I am so very happy with the townhouse. I know the thatched cottage should be the next piece coming in. And uh, can't wait to see that and show it off to all of you. If you're looking for some good uh, cardboard, buildable, non-paintable uh, terrain pieces, then I, I really think you're going to want to check out Battle Systems. So thank you very much. I'm your buddy, Big John at G for Two Gun Pixie Presents. <laughs> Legendary Gaming and I am with puppies. <laughs>